With the auto industry pushing towards electrification, automakers are playing an increasing role in helping to find more ways to affordably and easily recycle the vehicles they build with energy efficiency front and center, because that's what their customers demand. Japanese automaker Nissan builds the popular LEAF electric vehicle, or EV, it's one of the world's best-selling electric cars. They recently announced the start of a joint effort with Waseda University that will create a new process designed to efficiently recover rare earth compounds from the magnets found in electric car motors. Those magnets contain desirable elements like neodymium and dysprosium, known as rare earth metals. To help reduce the impact of mining these metals, Nissan has spent a decade learning how to build motors that use less of them. They've also been working on more effective ways to recover those metals in the recycling process, which reduces the need to dig fresh rare earth metals out of the ground. This helps further mitigate the environmental impact of the vehicle through its entire life cycle and can help protect automakers from fluctuating material costs. In turn, this can drive down the cost of EV motor manufacturing and ultimately the cost of EVs themselves, which helps increase adoption. For years, Nissan has recycled electric motors by manually removing the magnets from rejected motor units that don't meet production standards and returning them to their suppliers. But that's slow and expensive, and with growth ramping up in the EV market, they needed a way to make rare earth metal recovery more economical and simple. This would help Nissan now, but also help to support increased electric motor recycling demand in the future. For five years, Nissan has been collaborating with Waseda University, which has a strong record of research in metal recycling and smelting. In March of 2020, the joint effort created a new pyrometallurgy process that does not require electric motor disassembly. That's a fancy way of saying the motors aren't taken apart, they're melted instead. So unwanted motor units are placed into a receptacle with some other materials before being heated to at least 1400 degrees Celsius. Once thoroughly melted, other chemicals are added at strategic points in time, some complicated processes occur, and eventually the molten mass separates into two layers, just like oil and vinegar salad dressing. That top layer, the rare earth metals. This is exciting news as the EV market heats up, and with 98% recovery in half the time and no need to demagnetize and disassemble the motor units, this promising new process will help change the way electric motors are recycled while lowering their environmental impact and cost. I'm Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca, until next time, take care and drive safe.